So why are we here? At Alligator Rally Harley Davidson. Not to buy a bike. We ain't buying bikes. Uh, like visitation with my motor. <laughs> so let's go peek inside the box and we'll talk about the day we get our extra getter put in. And they got a lot of bikes in here. Hmm. And, and I know I kind of talk smack about it. It's growing on me. I'm not saying I would give, I think they want 32 for this, but I think that's what they had priced at, 32, wasn't it, babe? Something like that. But they got one of these. I wonder how is a certified bike. Who would buy this and then not want it? Because they had to do so much to pay so much to get it. And I don't know. Anywho, seat's high. I can tell you that. I used to have one of them cop seats. It's basically what that is, a police seat. But she cool. All right, now let's go visit my motor. I think it texted me last night, which is weird for a motor to do, but shit happens. First, some go-go juice. Oh, snag some tires while I'm back here. No one will notice. We have all the wrong ones. <laughs> we don't have any of the right ones. It's one of the right ones, just the wrong ones. Just the wrong ones. I didn't know this room was back here. Tim Shannon's motor? Is that it? Ooh. Oh yeah, because I guess the clutch, the compensator, the. This is everything. Yep. Damn. Oh, that's where I see crack, uh, Patrick already cracked the box open. So hang on, let me let me peek down in there. So there is what a crate motor comes like. Someone said in a comments like, "Why does it have spark plugs in?" I'm like, "Well, I don't want to leave the hole open, like, you know, just tear, just tear things, Billy." <laughs> <laughs> Well, they pack them pretty good. No kid. Well, how much does that weigh? You think in the box like that? Three, four hundred? No. Don't think that much. Two fifty. Two, two fifty. Because they originally were going to send it to my house, and I'm like, and then how do I get it to the? <laughs> yeah, well, cut the side of the box open. And you just grab it, and lift it out, and lift it out that way. Is it? Is there a, an engine stand kind of thing in the bottom of that box? It's a temporary, just like packing. Huh? No, it's just packing. I gotta figure out how to display the 114 in my house then. I guess I'll have to order a stand. Yeah, you can, uh, Harley sells an engine stand. There it is, man. And you can see the stage four on the heads there. 131 on that one. I think it says SE on the other side, right? Yeah, it's laser cut in there. So it's going in the bike with a Cobra two into one shorty turnout, which is not ideal, I know. but. It's going to sound good. It'll be very loud. <laughs> and then it'll be tuned with the PowerVision 3. So we're immediately not doing the, the Scream Eagle tuner. I, we don't know what kind of numbers we're going to get. And I'm not a number chaser anyway. You know, I mean, I'm not obsessed with that, but it's going to it's going to run good. Better than a stock 114. Oh, 100% Because the stock 114 right now tuned with a PowerVision 100 horse, maybe, yeah. you know. I'm If I get in the 120s in horsepower and the same in torque, then... You'll be a one. You'll be a one thirty to work, probably one hundred and twenty two, one hundred and twenty four horsepower. Even with a pipe that's not that good. Okay. The pipe that's not that good, you might you'll probably lose. You're probably gonna lose torque. Okay. Um, the horsepower will probably still stay the same, maybe, but you're gonna lose. So somewhere in the mid mid one twenties and then one thirty ish torque. We'll see. I'm interested. We don't know what that pipe's gonna do to it. You know, like it. It, it might be all right because Cobra is, is like, well, there's a decent amount of back pressure actually in that thing. It's not just a dump, okay. you know, so it's, it's, we'll find out. I'm excited. We don't know when we're going to do this. We're trying to get it done. I'd said July 2nd, but we're trying to figure it out because what they want to do at Alligator Alley is they're going to put the bike on the showroom floor, rope it off, and the guys are going to do it live. And anyone who wants to come watch can. Uh, just don't bother the guys while they're trying to work on the bike. But I'll be there, and I'm going to have two cameras, one on the bike and one on me, and I'll just answer questions that I can shout out maybe, you know, uh, as we do it. But I'm excited, man. It's going to be fun. And then we break the motor in before Sturgis, and we'll be all over the Black Hills with a 131. We'll see what that's like. But So is this the cart of parts that... That's one ticket. That's one text parts. Now, are these bad and being replaced or just like being held for a job that they're working on? Yeah. Okay, so this is just in process. Got that one taken apart. There's a CBO tank right there. Oh, okay. I love service departments.
Well, that was rude. Just run us over while we're talking. <laughs> These guys don't stop working. They have to, right? You gotta stay out of the billable way. hours. Billable hours. It's cool. All right, children. We're confirmed. Saturday, July 2nd is going to be the day that gets done up here, whether it be on the showroom floor or in the back. They still say that people can come see if you want. So if you're in the Florida area and you want to come on over or down wherever you are, uh, we'll start early Saturday, July 2nd and go until it's done. So it'll probably be into the evening hours. Uh, I got to bring the bike up. One thing we are going to be talking about this, I have to bring the bike up before that because they're going to do some prep work like take the lowers off, drain the coolant, you know what I mean? Get it ready for that kind of stuff, which makes sense to me. Another thing I think they're gonna do, if they can figure it out, is they might even put the motor on display. I told them that was fine with me. Put the motor on display on the showroom floor over the next day or so. So if you're in Florida and you come to Alligator Alley and you swing by, you might see my 131 on the showroom floor on display until we do it on July 2nd. But again, Saturday, July 2nd, probably starting, I don't know, 10 a.m.-ish. If you wanna come up to Alligator Alley, Harley-Davidson in Sunrise, Florida, we'll be doing a 131 live swap. So all day, yay. So that's it for today. Love you all to death. Take care of each other out there. Bye.